so you follow some guy's um, process on how to flash and mod BIOS for your GPU for mining and uh, you got the uh, blue screen of death in Windows or your computer just froze and unresponsive and you are panicking oh my god have you bricked your GPU well we're here to tell you that don't panic hard brick is not likely chances are what you're experiencing is soft brick and that could be fixed so you probably can't boot to windows right now you're probably getting a black screen um, if you haven't tried to boot your reboot your system already so if it boots into windows then you should be okay but if it doesn't boot into windows then we're going to show you exactly how to rescue that soft bricked car uh, you're going to follow the following steps okay step one you're going to reboot your computer and then you're going to want to boot into the system bios by holding the delete or f2 key during boot screen once you are in the system bios you want to choose uh, to boot with the internal graphics or onboard graphics instead of the external PCI Express slot graphic. Um, this is why you leave your soft brick card in your system. Um, the purpose of this is so we can boot into Windows with the internal built-in graphic. Make sure that you connect the uh, display cable uh, to the uh, motherboard instead of your graphic card otherwise you boot and you won't see anything and it's completely your fault once you are boot into windows with the internal graphic as the primary you will you should be able to open ATI one flash and see that uh, soft bricked GPU you want to go ahead and flash that failed external GPU to the original BIOS. Hopefully you have backed up the original BIOS. If not, search online. Chances are somebody has uploaded the original BIOS of your card. Make sure you download the correct one. Um, and then you want to try to flash the modded BIOS to the GPU again once you have flashed the original BIOS and be able to boot from the GPU. Um, only when should you try to flash with the modded BIOS again. And then remember the final step. Always patch your driver before restarting Windows using Pixel Clock Patcher if it is necessary. Sometimes it's not necessary, but it never hurts to check. Hopefully, uh, this guy was able to help rescue your soft brick AMD GPU uh, and you are a happy camper again. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button and make sure you subscribe to our channel if you have not done so. You can always find us on Facebook as well. Just search for Beyond the Routine. I would love to see you there. Every Thursday night, starting next week, we will be broadcasting live for one hour. So stay tuned um, to the live broadcast information. Thanks for watching again and hope to see you again at another Beyond a Routine episode.